Hello again. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lolly, and I have a project share again today, another junk journal I made. And this is with a cover from a Reader's Digest condensed book that I was trying to remove the paper stack from the inside, and I accidentally slit the spine, so I went ahead and cut the spine off and decided to use it um, on my cinch machine to make a journal this way. So it's still a junk journal, just a different construction, and I am including this. It's kind of like a copper colors in this, so I have this copper color pencil I'm putting there. So this is it. For the papers, um, I used a lot of the Graphic 45 typography pad. Really, really love this pad. And then, um, of course, I used a lot of mismatched um, papers that I already have in my stash and some tea stain papers. So here we go. I left the um, the original lining on the inside of the covers and including this page here, which I just love that there. This is just a little full uh, envelope that I got from Target Dollar Spot. These actually separate too. Some tea stain paper I had. This is from the paper collection. I made a little pocket. That's from the collection. This is from my stash. This is from the thrift store. Tea stained. This is from one of the pages of the book. So I used several of the pages that went to the book that I was tearing apart. Some tea stained paper. This is from another book. It's a sonnet from William Shakespeare. Tea stained paper. This is from actually from the loose uh, eight and a half by eleven sheets that I saw at I think Hobby Lobby. Apart from the book, oops, excuse me, can't get open. And this is not tea stained, but it is um, oh, not graph paper, ledger paper. There you go, tea stained, tea stained. This is from the collection, more ledger paper, tea stained. This is from yet another book. I just thought that was lovely. This is from the thrift store, tea stained paper. And this was an envelope, actually, someone had given me in a set. I've got a part of the collection in there. I've got some vellum wallpaper. This is a glassine envelope that someone had decorated and given me a whole set of them, and I thought this one was really pretty. I didn't put anything in there. This was from the thrift store, envelope from the thrift store, and this is part of the collection. There's a lot of tags in this collection. And I made folded this one over into an envelope. That's from the collection. These are from the collection. And this is also from the thrift store. The flight log and weather map collection. This is from the thrift store. This is from the book. Let's see, this is a computation sheet. Thought that was really cute. This is from the book. More tea stained paper. This is also from the thrift store. Thrift store tea stained. This is from the book. I'm just trying to kind of intermingle them. This is another sheet that I got loose from the. Um, I think that was from the no maybe I think this is a two this is actually a Tuesday morning I got that from Tuesday morning and this is an envelope that I magnetized you see that magnetized put a couple cards in here from the collection decorated it from my papers also from the the book this is actually a brown paper sack that I glued the bottom shut and there's nothing in there yet but that's for the person who receives this this is an envelope and a little card a tag that I made some more tea stain paper, two tags here from the collection, and this is from the book itself, and again, this is paper that I got from the loose um, supplies at Hobby Lobby. So that's it. And notice I did have one paper clip on here. It's a music note. Someone had given me a set of different musical instruments and music notes. And um, I may add another another paperclip on there. So that's it in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching.